My next guest, full disclosure, it is an incredible story. My next guest met nine years ago and have been close friends ever since they bonded over both being adopted from the Dominican Republic. But it turns out the bond between Cassandra Madison and Julia Tenetti went far beyond that. Take a look. For as long as I can remember, I have always wanted to meet my biological family. Growing up as an adopted child, I have always felt a sense of missing something, like a puzzle with a missing puzzle piece. I remember seeing Cassandra's Dominican Republic flag tattoo on her arm, and I asked her if she was from the Dominican Republic, and she said, yeah, but I'm adopted. And I was like, but wait, hold on, me too. For the past nine years, Julia and I have been joking around that we're sisters. People always talked about how much we looked alike. We started taking pictures together, and then we started noticing similarities. We checked our adoption paperwork, and nothing matched. About a year later, my father told me that I had another sibling that was also placed for adoption. It was a girl, and she was about 15 to 17 months younger than me. I instantly thought of Julia. I drove all the way from Virginia to Connecticut during the pandemic in the middle of a snowstorm with a DNA kit in my car. I got to her house and I made her take the test. Two and a half weeks later, the results were ready. It said that Cassandra was my sister. So I kept refreshing the page and sure enough, she was she's still there and she's still my sister. Julia and I are 100% related. Same mom, same dad. Now I have seven brothers and sisters in the Dominican and I have Cassandra in the United States and it's surreal. I'm so glad I found my family. Please welcome sisters Cassandra Madison and Julia Tinetti. Hi! Oh my God. <laughs> Julia, how does it feel to be like introduced as sisters. I mean, is it still surreal to hear? You know, I'm trying to get used to it. Uh, <laughs> it it's definitely different. Um, and I'm usually the older sister, so having an older sister, I'm like, this is weird. This is so weird. <laughs> this is weird. I mean, you had different feelings at the time, but then through life and the circumstances, you ended up curious about each other and whether or not you could possibly be related. Cassandra, I love you because you drove from Virginia to <laughs> Connecticut in the middle of the pandemic, in the middle of a snowstorm, yeah. just for Julia to take the DNA test. And you mailed yeah. the kit for her. You meant business on that oh. trip. Cameron, okay? <laughs> we gonna talk about this girl, okay? <laughs> so I cannot... Julia has never wanted to go, right? And I was like, I'm getting in my car like right now, and I'm like, right now. So I drive all the way up here, and I shove it in her face, and I'm like, you're gonna do this right now. And I make her do it, and she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'm she like, said no, to hello. me, I'll put it in the mail. And I was like, no, it's okay, I'm gonna put it in the mail. <laughs> because girl, it was the same thing, it was the same thing in the mail. She didn't watch it. Oh my God. Cassandra, you are amazing. Up next, <laughs> there's even more to this story, if you can believe that. Julia's childhood best friend, Molly, joins the conversation. She also took a DNA test, and it turns out you're going to have to find out when we come back. <laughs> I'm talking with Cassandra Madison and Julia Tinetti, friends for over nine years who found out that they are actually biological sisters. Now, follow me here. Joining us on Skype is Julia's childhood best friend, Molly Safadin, who also has a unique relationship in this story. Okay. Molly, I gotta look at my notes on this. You and Julia were both adopted on the same day in the Dominican Republic, and you've been friends ever since, from the beginning. You were convinced yeah. that Julia and Cassandra were related, and you were persuading Julia to find out the truth. Okay, we got that part. Now, <laughs> Julia and Cassandra are sisters, but you also took a DNA test, and what did that test reveal? It revealed that I am actually their cousin. <laughs> I mean, 
Never have I had to look at my notes so much. I'm like, I'm trying to follow this here. And then, so, so Molly, you like Cassandra, you've always searched for your biological family. You recently discovered that you have a twin who lives 40 minutes away from you. That is true. <laughs> this is... I can't explain it. I feel like Maury. I'm like, what is, this is amazing. So how do you process all of this? Because you were all brought into each other's lives without knowing that you're related. And then you find out through modern technology. It's too simple, Molly, to say it was meant to be, but it was meant to be. Growing up as an only child um, and having so many questions about where I'm from and who my parents are and if I have any siblings and if I'm ever going to find them. And then to find out that I have a twin sister named Lucy who was raised only 40 minutes away from me and that my childhood best friend, Julia, who was in my life, my entire life, we've shared so many memories together, dance recitals, barbecues, dinners, basketball tournaments, and to know that I had a blood relative in my life, my whole life, it's just an amazing feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you were already in each other's lives, but to learn the connection to Molly's point, it's just so special. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank what you. a beautiful story. Cassandra, Thank Julia, you. and Molly. <laughs>